The 2024 presidential election is just 78 days away, falling on November 5th. Americans are concerned about many issues that impact their daily lives and those of their families. Well, for me, the issue probably is our economy. That's the most important issue is um, uh, Israel right now. The basics, jobs, everybody needs work. Issues that I care about are like prison reform and criminal proceedings reforms. It's about the immigrants, because they're human, they're people, but it's a lot of favoritism going towards the immigrants for some reason. However, the Republican Party seems to lack any serious proposals. Instead of discussing policies and past actions, many in the party resort to childish behavior, name-calling, and foolishness that do little to assist Americans in their quest for life, liberty, and happiness. From the moment we take back the White House from crooked Joe Biden and Kamala, I call her laughing Kamala. You ever watch her laugh? She's crazy. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. She's not as crazy as Nancy Pelosi, crazy Nancy. At a recent rally in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, Trump expressed dissatisfaction with various topics while making disconnected comments that offered no real solutions. In a particularly strange moment, he compared his striking appearance to that of Vice President Harris. I'm a better looking person than Kamala. They said, no, her biggest advantage is that she's a beautiful woman. I'm going, huh, I never thought of that. I'm better looking than she is. This remark stands in stark contrast to what he told Elon Musk just a week earlier during their flattering online interview, where he called VP Harris beautiful. I saw a picture of her yeah, yeah. on Time magazine today. She looks like the most beautiful actress ever to live. I, it was a drawing. And uh, actually, yeah, yeah. she looked very much like a great first lady, Melania. She looked. She looked, didn't look. <laughs> yeah. She didn't look like Camilla. That's right. But of course, she's a beautiful woman. So we'll leave it at that. The seventy-eight-year-old Republican candidate once again not focusing on the issues, instead getting personal to the dismay of top Republican. This is not an election for just the MAGA vote. Trust me, Donald Trump has that. Republicans need to be fighting for suburban women, for college-educated for independents, for moderate Republicans, and conservative Democrats. They want to be asked for that. But Karl Rove says, echoing her, he's going to be on the show later. Uh, he says, Mr. Trump so far has largely focused on themes that appeal only to his true believers, childish insults and talk of stolen elections, January 6th political prisoners, and a weaponized justice system. That won't win him a single vote he doesn't already have.